All right. Um, some of y'all are going to be wondering, why in the hell is she sharing court records up on the social medias? Well, as everybody knows, I've been fighting for my family for a long time and for justice for what happened to my grandson as well as my mother. Um, I am being told to promote this book that uh, was written, The Deadline Confessions of a Dixie Mafia Assassin, that it would help my case. Um, it does talk about the human trafficking of me as a child. It talks about things my mother's seen and been around, linked to the mayor's father. Um, the mayor's father's name is in the book 189 times, almost 200 times. And with that being said, he has a lot of reasons to be mad at me. I made him lose $97,000 on a strip club that didn't open. I um, got his daddy's name up in a book. Um, and I've been exposing his family for child rape, recording child rape for NAMBLA. And with that being said, I am going to start sharing what was given to me. They had slandered Phyllis Cook, where she is fighting for justice for her father and her brother. They said that she had things to do with these flyers. Well, I'm going to say, I ain't never met this lady. And me and her have a lot of conflict because it was her father who worked for the Dixie Mafia and helped hide their crimes. And if he wasn't helping hide their crimes, maybe half the stuff that happened to me and my mama when I was younger wouldn't have happened. I'm just saying. So, like, we do, we butt heads a lot due to that. And with that being said, um, I told y'all back in one of my other videos, I knew I was going to be railroad through this. I have multiple court case numbers. I have a law code that is wrong that says I had a gun. I was denied any rights of evidence or being able to film my court hearing. Um, these people had lied. Also, with the papers that I have that were all the judges recused herself because they know him personally. Well, that should tell you right there. They knew him personally enough to help kidnap my mother and put her where she's at. And now she's in ICU and she's about to die. They cannot keep my mama's oxygen down low. Yesterday, she was at 90%. Last night, they tried 40%. My mom is not getting any better, and she sits in ICU alone with her rights being violated. And on December 4th, my mama was able to tell you the day. She was able to tell you, you know, what she wanted, and she was able to speak. Now, she's in ICU, and they're talking about putting a trach in. She's been in a induced light coma where she's sleeping, but they didn't put her in a full coma because they want her to be able to open her eyes and... You know, I guess be tortured if she got a tube down her throat. I don't know. It's just, I'm glad she's not in a full coma. But to me, it's really freaky that, you know, my mom is there alone. And there's nobody there to tell her it's going to be okay. Except strangers, if they even tell her that. At this point, I don't know anymore. Also, I will prove that the police officers who all been upped in their position for the police department wrote a one-sided report and left out all the stuff, the sex stuff on their flyers about his family recording child rape. I also recorded how I found these things. It's also on my previous videos of the child rape videos that I was able to find and how I found them. It's just really weird that um, nobody is doing anything about that, except removing it off the internet and trying to make a case on me and changing law code saying I want to kill the mayor and I came, I resisted arrest with a gun, which that was never true because I never even resisted arrest. I got out my car and we was recording them freaks. So, um, with that being said, when y'all see me start posting these papers, I'm posting evidence that they are refusing me and they're skipping me they even, like, yeah, you're going to call a judge from Supreme Court. You don't give me a new case number. You don't give me a Supreme Court case heading with a Supreme Court case number because you brought a judge from Supreme Court to the lower court where I appealed. 
They have me with multiple case numbers. They have wrong jurisdictions written on their paperwork. And the police is completely covering up what Andrew Gillich's family has done because they've all been promoted to very high positions within the police department and they're doing a one-sided case. So with that being said, I will share every single thing of this and I will break it down, start putting it in videos, sharing paperwork. The original paperwork, just to let y'all know, you'll never find because they are already hidden and buried. But I guarantee you they'll be at court. They are... Uh, signatures that don't match, signatures that are photocopied on the paperwork, and um, the jurisdiction is scratched out and wrote in. Um, each court has their own heading, and their computer is set for their heading. So, to send my paperwork to one court so they can, you know, fraudulent the paperwork and then send it back to another so they can, you know, do whatever... Well, on the second page of each paperwork that I posted earlier prior to this video, you will see on the second page, they left up the dates and all that stuff. They left that out, so that way, I guarantee you somewhere in their files, they're going to have it without the scratched out part, just for their court. And then they can write in whatever they feel like they want to write in later, and make it look like I did a lot more stuff than I did. And it's going to go based off of these reports. And Mr. Payne, didn't you come from Gulfport? Let's play, you piece of crap. Because you're a pain in my butt and you're a liar. And you do not deserve your position. And I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue every single freaking one of you. Just know that. And I'm going to do it before court. It will be on record before court. And that I'm not playing. You let my mama be in ICU. You tortured my mama to her death. And now she sits alone to die alone. Y'all are sick, evil, trash. You're not even human. Because anybody that does that to another human being is sick. They're not human. You are disgusting. Every single one of you. And I like the part that Andrew Gillis was standing next to Bill Clinton, da 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 da, and an unknown he, she, or is that his wife? Female was standing in the picture. Hmm. Why are we having a he, she thing going on, down there and going on in Gulfport? We never had that crap here before. And now it's just exploding. Huh. Everywhere. I remember when y'all used to bring your young kids over to New Orleans. And let them be in their drag shows over there. But they're all from Mississippi. Y'all are sick. You're going to come down for what y'all have done. And you will be put to death for grooming foster children to be the opposite sex. And that ain't going to be by my hands. It's going to be when justice comes for y'all. And one day, that's going to come. So for y'all to lie and make up false reports, let's play. Because I'm about to come after y'all legally. And I'm going to win. Much love.